Welcome back to my vlog. I know it's been a while since I've truly vlogged, uh, but I just haven't had my own space. I'm staying with my dad at this time, and the next week I think I'm going to visit my mom, so it's hard to vlog in a space that doesn't belong to you. And I just feel like I don't want to like interrupt people's cycles, processes, and things, right? But let me give you guys some sort of update. I have been walking almost every day, except for the last couple of days I've been really sick. I'm still a little bit congested. You can hear it. And something that I've noticed is that my feet hasn't been in absolute pain. The older you get, the more you have to take care of your feet. So right when I decided to start doing this walking journey, I got reached out by a company called Fitville. And they sell shoes that are good for people with wide feet diabetes any sort of issues that you might deal with when it comes to your feet and they this beautiful company sent me three pairs of shoes and i get to try them out today while i'm out on my walk so i can't wait to show you guys these shoes because they're so cute they're so different and i think it's perfect for anybody who wants to start a walking journey if you're walking consistently you want to make sure that you have a good pair of shoes on your feet let me show you my old shoes and how the tread is completely gone on them so this is the tread on my old shoe this is probably why my feet was hurting so bad i think i bought these in 2017. it is 2022 guys <laughs> So let me show you the new shoes that I'm going to be walking in. So let me show you guys all the sneakers and then I'm going to go on a walk with my walking shoes and tell you guys how it goes. This is the first box. All right. Oh, okay. I'm so excited about these. These are more casual walking shoes. <clears throat> these are a little bit more on the fashion side. I love the design of these shoes. After trying them on, I realized that I probably could have went down a size because they are perfect for people with wide feet. But I realized that I don't really have wide feet. I have normal feet, so I probably should have went down a little bit. But they are still really comfortable. If I put on thick socks, it works just fine. But these are absolutely so cute. Um, and like I said, these are a little bit more casual. These are not the ones that I'll be walking in every day. They're just really cute to style in. And imagine if you're going shopping and you want to look cute, you can wear these shoes when you're going on walks, casual walks, shopping, anywhere where you're going to be on your feet, maybe longer, but you want to look cute. Look how cute these are. Ah, I love that it has like that thick bottom. They're just so pretty. I love them. I really do love them. And then we have... These are the walking shoes I'm going to be using today on my walk. They're this really cute, this really cute turquoise color. Look, finally some tread on the bottom. It has like that really comfy cushion at the bottom as well. And like I said, they sell shoes for people with diabetes. They also sell like running shoes. I specifically got walking shoes because I do not plan on running for a really long time. And the cute logo is sleek, not too crazy they also have like hiking shoes as well on their website so they have a little bit of everything for everyone but i think it's perfect for people with wider feet or diabetes like i said earlier <clears throat> or anybody who has any sort of like health issues i would go on their website and check to see if they have a particular shoe for feet health right so last one i really really like these actually too <coughs> All right, first of all, the packaging that it comes in, uh, there's cloths on each of the shoes to keep them protected, and there's more cloth covering it. So these are just like some slide-ons. So like if you have to go to the grocery store, quick errand, there's a little bit more tread on this one. They have a little sleek logo right here. So if you're going shopping, grocery shopping, and you need to throw on some shoes real quick that are comfortable, these are really cute. Um, and you can basically wear this in any outfit. So I absolutely love all of them. But we're going to focus mainly on these because I have been in pain walking. So let's see how it goes. Okay. 
Okay guys, I'm back from my walk. I also went to the dentist, but I'm back from my walk. And after wearing these, I have no foot pain. So I'm telling you, it's super important for you to get shoes that, oh my God, I just hit myself in the face. That has tread. And it's just comfortable. Like every time I've gone on a walk prior to, I've literally been so sore and achy on my feet. So coming back and not having any like soreness and I don't feel like I have to like rub on my feet is like, the best and i will link all the shoes in the description box so if you're interested if you have sensitive feet diabetes or wide feet or anything like that fitville is literally perfect for it so i will link everything in the description box so that way you know where to get it i'm sorry if my mouth is a mess guys i just got back from the dentist which is another story my dad is here say hi dad so i, I was just telling him i went to the dentist and like guys his, I don't know, why your phone always on loud? Just curious. Like, you don't ever keep your phone on vibe, right? <laughs> like, he gets football notifications while the game is on, and it's on loud. Like, you don't ever just have it on buzz buzz. Like, you can't hear the buzz buzz when it buzzes. Anyway, this is just me getting on his nerves. But I went to the dentist, and guys... I literally, they went to put the numbing solution in my mouth and it literally hurt so bad that I started crying and I only did like, do you see my under eyes crying and then shaking in the chair like I literally almost didn't make it out of there alive. <laughs> I'm in my dad's room because he just makes so much noise like this is the only place that I get peace and you guys know I do not have a room yet but soon soon being like in between moving is like so confusing and I'm also at a point like I keep telling me that I found an apartment but it's in this town and I'm like I'm not sold on living in this town so that's why I'm kind of like holding out but <laughs> look at my mascara tears when I tell you I was shaking it hurt so bad and then they lifted me up and I still was crying like even though it was over I was just like <sighs> And I was just like in distress. So that's how I know I can't have babies because like if I can't handle a little bit of dentistry, is that even a word? I don't know. Ugh. Awful. If I can't handle just a little shot, a little needle in the mouth, I can't get Botox. I can't get anything like that. So it it's literally... I'm in like distress still and I have to go back and I told him I said I do not want to come back like y'all are crazy and I was like do you have to put like numb me to put the actual permanent crown on and he was like no but look like I said I have all these tears <laughs> I look like I have two black eyes <laughs> but I'm so happy that's over I wanted to bring you along but my battery died so now since I have you guys for the rest of the day I'm gonna go ahead and make myself something to eat let's see maybe um my dad want me to cook. We'll, we'll ask him. We'll ask him what's for dinner. Daddy, you on the phone? The concept of backup. You can't t turn off the TV for two seconds? You can keep it on. What do you want to eat? Want me to cook something? I'm going to cook something. I don't know why he said no. He's so annoying. There's stuff to cook in here. Maybe not. Maybe there isn't anything to cook in here. I'm going to figure it out, though. There's mozzarella sticks. You don't want mozzarella sticks? All right. Well, I'll be back once I figure out what I'm cooking. So do you want me to